Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Cricket24 Korea Mode and we are back. As I promised you in the last episode, something special, the rivalry will come, the El Clasico of Cricket will come in the next episode. You might have guessed it right, I didn't see many comments but I expect you to guess what's the biggest rivalry in cricket history. It's nothing other than India versus Pakistan. So we are going to play India versus Pakistan in Cricket 24 career mode right now. So we have a whole series. It's India tour of Pakistan. Uh, it's uh, like rest of rare scenario. I don't know when did this happen last time. But yeah, in the, it's, it's not happening in the real world. But at least in the simulation world means uh, in cricket game it's happening. So we have got a chance to play experience India versus Pakistan match. And Indians going to Pakistan to play a whole series. Three tests, three ODIs and three T20s. And we will be captaining our side in T20. So that's a lot of excitement along with the responsibility on our shoulders. So let's see how it goes. Just tighten your seat belts up. We are gonna enjoy a roller coaster ride. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Okay, so I am ready, and you can see Babar Azam as the test captain of Pakistan. And on the Indian side, we have Rutraj Kaikwar. Uh, I'm gonna show you each and every match of this this series because yeah, it's uh, like one of the important, like the the most important series for for any Indian cricketer for any Indian cricket fan so I'm gonna show you each and every match of this series with uh, I'll try to get you highlights as much as possible whatever I can include the good moments the bad ones for India everything I'll include in the episode so make sure you quickly hit the subscribe button because uh, this series is gonna long it's a big series it's a long series so yeah after this I think couple of episodes like more than five six seven eight nine ten maybe ten episodes will come on this series only so just hit the subscribe button and now we are i'm not gonna skip uh, the starting scenes uh, the stadium is uh, i think uh which one sarfaraz nawaz enclave the stadium is i think uh lahore oh, sorry Gaddafi. Gaddafi stadium i think it's in lahore so this is the lineup i'm not gonna skip anything because it's first match Indians, I think, after a long, long time going to Pakistan. <laughs> well, that's a surprising scenario. Uh, but anyway, let's concentrate on this match. And here, here, here you can see the pitch, especially in Pakistan. The pitch is uh, uh, batting friendly. So a lot of runs expect here. India called tails. Let's hope we win the toss. Yeah, sorry. Pakistan won the toss and uh, they have decided... They are coming up with a blazer, decided to bowl first. Means we are gonna bat as, uh, not as a captain, but as a number four batsman in Pakistan for the first time in our career against Pakistan. I think this is our first match against Pakistan 40. And here you go. National anthems, this usually doesn't happen in uh, the <laughs> friendly series. It only happens, I think, in the World Cups and ICC events. But anyway, the animation is there, so let's enjoy it. Pakistan is licensed team, so just expect real faces for Pakistani players. And Indians, India's, uh, India's players also have got good face structure. So yeah, it's going to add much more to the realism. Uh, the Pakistan players are coming out to the ground because they have elected to bowl first. And, uh, <clears throat> and here comes our batter, Shubman Gill and uh, Gaikwar opening players for India and for Pakistan who is going to open the tag I think it's Shaheen Shah for, you know I think it's Naseem Shah for Pakistan to open the attack guys uh, uh, we'll just uh, see the first ball uh, first delivery of this match and then we'll jump to the career player and see where is India standing just expect a lot of runs on this pitch because uh, you know Pakistani pitches are batting friendly these days <laughs> very very batting fr friendly uh, flat tracks and uh, paradise for the batsman first ball Shubman Gill Naseem Shah it's in the air no it's in the gap so I was telling you these are the batting friendly pitches and Shubman Gill has just gave you an example of that it starts off with a wonderful drive and uh, uh, let's check the replay before skipping to the career player. That was Bushes. I was next, not expecting him to uh, 
<laughs> Let's start off with a bounder on the very first ball that he faced, but yeah, he played it wonderfully. Let's look at that. Nassim Shah bowling to Shubman Gill. Uh, that's a treat to watch. The perfect match, the rivalry, everything is just fantastic about uh, about the match in which these two teams are are together, like uh, in front of each other, not together in front of each other. So let's take a look closer, look look at that one. I'm just taking the screenshot for the memory and for the thumbnail if I can get one out of it. But yeah, a zoom to the ball. It's new Kokabura ball and exactly from the middle of the bat. Okay, so we have got the chance to bat on. Uh, and Indians are in very good position right now. 2-2-2 two, two, two for 2 after 53.2. A lot of 2s in that scorecard. But yeah, first ball and it's Shaheen Shah Freedy. It's a bouncer, Shaheen Shah, trying to just f uh, create a fear inside the new batsman. Uh, inside the young batsman, in the mind of the young batsman, T. But let's see how he reacts to that. Shine Shafri, the young T. Oh man, not able to time it properly, but he was able to put the ball in the gap. Uh, can we come back for the second? No, we cannot. Just a single taken. And that's how we score our first runs in the series against Pakistan. First match for us against Pakistan. And this is how we score our first run. Let's skip to the career player. And now we are facing M. Mubashir. Uh, 0 for 57 after 13.3 overs for him. Here we go. Second ball. Trying to go big T on that instance. No connection between bat and ball. It's a dot. So the pressure is visible. Oh, he's looking in trouble. He should be able to pass off this phase because uh, there are nerves. And when there are nerves, oh, this type of risks you take. It's looking difficult for T right now. He's not looking into his rhythm. He's not playing with ease. What a shot. <laughs> I was thinking, man, he's not looking in good shape right now. But suddenly he places that shot one beautifully. Look at that one. That was, that was a delivery inviting to be punished. Drifting onto the pass. T just flicks it. Flicks it away in the air for quite some time. But there is no fielder in the deep. Welcome to the Hadith of the video segment and today's Hadith is The one who is strong in belief is more blessed in Allah's presence than he who is weak in belief. May Allah grant us ease and guide us to the right path. That's it for this segment. Now let's go back to the career mode. Uh, so they've got a spinner in the attack. It's M. Kasab. Mm, let's see what he does. It's a good ball. He's turning the ball. He's turning the ball straight to the fielder. No run stricken. It's a dot. Now Nasim Shah continuing from this end. It's a bouncer. Pulled away. Pulled away wonderfully in the gap. Four runs. So far, whatever runs we have scored, like 12 runs, we have just scored on the leg side on Lee because we just want to play safe in the start of the innings. We don't want to lose wicket and create pressure on ourselves in the rest of the series or rest of the match. So if you play good... Okay, uh, Abrar Ahmad. <laughs> they got Abrar Ahmad in the attack and he has welcomed him with a boundary. Boundary in the last over, that was wonderful and Abrar Ahmed's welcome boundary also. It's looking delicate. That's great piece of batting. That's creating pressure on the bowler right from the bowl one. 18-15 for T, Abrar Ahmed continuing and T is just targeting Abrar Ahmed. Two boundaries in this over. Boundary on the first ball, then a two for, then a dot, then again a boundary. So Abrar Ahmed ha has been smacked for around 10 plus runs, 10 to 12 runs in this over so far. And he's creating pressure on the prime bowler. He has targeted Abrar Ahmed so well. Now, he just smacked Abrar Ahmed for left, right and center throughout his innings uh, in that same region. I don't know why they are not putting up a fielder there. But yeah, he's taking advantage of it and Abrar Ahmed is not happy and he should not be happy because he has given around 54 runs in just uh, uh, 6 overs, I think. I'm not sure, but yeah, he has leaked too many runs. 34 for T. Abrar Ahmed, uh, I was telling you, 63 runs given in 11 overs by Abrar Ahmed. Look at that one again, just drifting onto the pads. And T is just taking advantage of the situation and bowler's form, which looks 
horrible right now. He's just pulling in that region without any protection in the deep. And look at Imamul Haq in the background. And now comes the captain advising his bowler. I don't know what was that wise, but I don't think so. It has worked. Uh, Tekoti again on 47 and completes the half century in style on the Pakistani soil. Soil, it's not soil, it's soil. <laughs> so uh, T comes his half century with a strike rate of 182. Remember, it's a test cricket, not <laughs> T20 or an ODI. In ODI, also, you don't play like this, but he has played it and he has got a chance. I don't think so. He's taken any risk. He has played th those uh, calculated shots in the gap and just utilize the bad bowling of Pakistan like this. Abrar Ahmed is again drifting onto the pads without any protection in the deep. T is just again taking the advantage. It has been the same story throughout and again comes the captain Babur advising his bowler. 59 of uh, 33 balls for a man this time. They are appealing, they are appealing. I don't know why. No point in appealing there. We smacked Abrar Ahmed for four back-to-back -back boundaries and then finally he bowled a dot. And this is the last delivery of the over. That was a good delivery. So if he's bowling good, we'll surely respect it and the fielders will also play a part. Oh, 59 for 32. We are just coming up against Abrar Ahmed here and again, a respectable delivery. We just did that. Now Nasim Shah comes back in the attack. He has given 87 runs with a wicket. That's a good delivery right in the block hole. But we'll just uh, take a single out of it. 6 to 3 of 37. T is surely losing his energy right now. Look at that yellow mark. That's a bounce. I don't know. That was a short of length delivery from Abraham. But he has just not bowled that kind of delivery yet. But T just picks that up one beautifully and smashes that one in the same region for four. <laughs> I think all of the runs came off Abra Ahmed and in the same region. Look at that. Nasim Shah has been brought back in the attack. Let's see what he does. Oh no, that's a bad one to start. That's a bad one to start. That was not his first ball, but that was second ball of his spell, new spell, and he got smacked for a boundary on a very bad ball. So Abra Ahmed continuing from this end, and we have smacked him for a lot of runs. We are on 87 of 49 balls. Respect. Uh, given to that delivery by T because it was a good delivery outside the off stump and uh, with that delivery that's the end of today's video uh, that's it for this video guys hope you have enjoyed it just quickly hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon as well because uh, in the next episode we will continue from here and see if T can complete his uh, century first century in the Pakistani soil and against Pakistan I think this is our first match against Pakistan so let's see if he can achieve that feat and uh, if he does that, the Indians will be in a very good position uh, in this test match. We are currently 300 plus. So yeah, it's going to be a very good thing for India if he completes the century. And uh, let's see how uh, the rest of the match goes as well because uh, a whole match is remaining from now on. So it's going to be an interesting video. Next one, so quickly hit the subscribe button and quickly hit the bell icon as well because the whole series is in line so quickly hit those two buttons and that's it for this video thank you very very much for joining in bye bye take care see you in the next one